Senator Dodd, last week you had said that Senator Obama, quoting you, assertions, his assertions about foreign and military affairs have been frankly confusing and confused. You added he should not be making unwise categorical statements about military options. What, in your opinion, has been confusing? Well, let me say on, on these matters here, I, I've spent 26 years on the Foreign Relations Committee dealing with these matters here in almost every major foreign policy debate. Words mean things. We've got to be very careful about language that's used in terms of the danger and harm it can do to our nation. My view was when you raise issues are being raised about Pakistan, understand that while General Musharraf is no Thomas Jefferson, he may be the only thing that stands between us and having an Islamic fundamentalist state in that country. And so what I'd like to see him change, the reality is if we lose him, then what we face as an alternative could be a lot worse for our country. I think it's highly responsible or irresponsible for people who are running for the presidency and seek that office to suggest we may be willing unilaterally to invade a nation here that we're trying to get to be more cooperative with us in Afghanistan and elsewhere. So my views, and I say this respectfully to my friend from Illinois here, I think it was wrong to say what he did in that matter. I think it's important for us to be very careful about the language we use, make it clear that if this United States is going to build the relationships around the world, we're going to have to do so with allies, in some cases allies that we not particularly like. Senator Dodd, thank you. Chris, uh, uh, Senator uh, Obama, yes, uh, you, you've taken some hits, uh, hits here uh, from us. So yours is the last word on this subject. Well, look, I, I find it amusing that those who helped to authorize and engineer the biggest foreign policy disaster in our generation uh, are now criticizing me for making sure that we are on the right battlefield and not the wrong battlefield in the war against terrorism. And Chris, respectfully, and you and I are close friends, but the fact is, he obviously didn't read my speech because what I said was that we have to refocus, get out of Iraq, make certain that we are helping Pakistan deal with the problem of Al-Qaeda in, uh, in the hills between Afghanistan and Pakistan. But Chris, if we have actionable intelligence on al-Qaeda operatives, including bin Laden, and President Musharraf cannot act, then we should. Now, I think that's just common sense. I don't know about you, Senator. but for us to authorize Se the place Se where, where the people who attacked, where, where the people who attacked 3,000 Americans were not present, which you authorized, and then to suggest that somehow we should not focus right. on the folks that Senator did Obama, attack 3,000 we're, we're well over is a problem. We're, we're well over time. Senator Clinton, I must ask for your... Senator Clinton, Senator Clinton, give me your response to this. We're, we're going we're gonna, to... We're gonna, I'm going to give you both a chance here, but Senator Clinton, please give me your response to what we're hearing tonight. Well, I do not believe people running for president should engage in hypotheticals, and it may well be that the strategy we have to pursue on the basis of actionable intelligence, but remember we've had some real difficult experiences with actionable intelligence, might lead to a certain action, but I think it is a very big mistake to telegraph that and to destabilize the Musharraf regime, which is fighting for its life against the Islamic extremists who are in bed with Al-Qaeda and Taliban. And remember, Pakistan has nuclear weapons. The last thing we want is to have Al-Qaeda-like followers in charge of Pakistan and having access to nuclear weapons. So you can think big, but remember, you shouldn't always say everything you think if you're running for president because it have consequences across the world, and we don't need that right now. This Senator Dodd, no, I, I owe Senator Dodd a response. Your name was invoked in several of these answers. Please uh, take 30 seconds here. Well, I just want to say, look, I, and, and Barack, you know, I certainly said, look, I made a mistake in that vote in 2002. I don't deny that. But when you make a mistake, as you will, on something like this, I think if I had the courage, I made a mistake on the vote in 2002. If you're making a mistake today, you ought to stand up and say so. It was a mistake, in my view, to suggest somehow that going in unilaterally here into, into Pakistan was somehow in our interest. That, I think, is dangerous. And I don't you, retreat from that at all. But, but this, 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 came, this came back to me. And, and so all right, Senator, Senator Obama, this. 30 seconds, no, and then I have to stop I, this. I did not say that we would immediately go in unilaterally. What I said was that we have to... Uh, work with Musharraf because the biggest threat to American security right now are in the northwest provinces of Pakistan and that we should continue to give him military aid contingent on him doing something about that. But the fact of the matter is is that when we don't talk to the American people, we're, we're debating the most important foreign policy issues that we face. 
And the American people have a right to know. It is not just Washington insiders uh, that are part of the debate that has to take place with respect to how we're going to shift our foreign policy. This is a fundamental I, I have to end this segment here because we are we are.